this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics coming to you today with a video all about how you can become a pharmacist in the United States as a foreign graduate. I am sure it is no surprise to you that I am not a foreign graduate, but someone commented a while ago asking if I can make a video about this particular topic. And I thought to myself, it would be great because I have no clue on how to become a licensed pharmacist in the United States as a foreigner. After doing extensive research, I realized that there is not too much indifference in becoming a licensed pharmacist in the United States as a foreign graduate than there is as one that has graduated from a United States pharmacy school. I will say that it does not matter what country you are coming from, the process will still be the same. The only real big difference is getting that FPGEC certification. I will forewarn you that I will look over to my notes every now and then just so I can make sure that I'm pronouncing the acronyms the correct way and make sure that I'm explaining what each one actually means. I did not go to school for theatrics. I went to school for pharmacy. So bear with you, girl. Pharmacists educated outside of the United States are required to achieve the Foreign Pharmacy Graduate Examination Committee certification before applying for a pharmacy license exam or a state board of pharmacy license. The acronym for the Foreign Pharmacy Graduate Examination Committee is FPGEC, so we're going to call it just that. Now, the FPGE certification does include a review of your education and licensure. And the way that they do this is by making you take a series of exams. But I am sure that if you have come this far, you are good at taking exams and you will be fine. First off, you will need to pass the test of English as a foreign language internet-based test, which is also called the TOEFL IBT exam. This exam assesses your reading, your writing, your speaking, in your listening skills. There is a breakdown of which score you have to make for each section in the bulletin that I will list in the description box below. You will also need a passing score of a 75 on the Foreign Pharmacy Graduate Equivalence Examination, which is called the FPGEE. The certification is not a license to practice pharmacy in the United States. I repeat, it is not a license. The National Board of Pharmacy just wants to make sure that you all meet the comparable requirements that is required of you. After all those requirements are complete, you can now apply for licensure in the state you choose to practice in. Now, for anyone, including the U.S. pharmacists, you must pass the NAPLEX and the MPJE for the certain jurisdiction that you plan to serve in in order to be a licensed pharmacist. More about licensure will be covered in a series of videos to come. Cost of submitting your application include an application fee of $100 and an evaluation fee of $450. These fees are non-refundable and they seldomly change. Cost of the TOEFBLIBT, that is a tongue twister. It varies by location. I will drop the direct link down below so you can put in your exact location and find out how much it costs you to take the test wherever you are. Cost of the FPGEE is $650 for the first exam and the fees can increase the more you take it. I will also leave a link for the FPGEE bulletin down below in the description box so you can check that out as well. In total, you can expect to spend around $1,200 just for the certification alone. That is not including the NAPLEX, the MPJE, and whatever the Board of Pharmacy in the state you choose to practice in requires of you. Now, I know that was a ton of information, so let's recap. In order for you to be a licensed pharmacist in the United States, as a foreigner, you would need to have passed one, the TOEFLIBT exam, number two, the FPGEE, number three, obtain your FPGEC certification, number four, pass the NAPLEX, and number five, pass the MPJE. I have 
I've attached a link directly from the NABP that explains in five steps how you can get that certification. So make sure that you check the description box out at the end of this video. NABP is the National Board of Pharmacy. NABP.pharmacy is the website in which you handle all things licensure. If you watch how to score transfer your NAPLEX, you will know exactly what I'm talking about because I did mention it there. If you have not watched it yet, go ahead and click to start watching right now. You watching my videos, giving me a thumbs up, commenting, that does not cost you anything, but it helps me analytically and I truly appreciate it. So my pharmacy prospect seeking licensure in the U.S. Was this video helpful to you? If so, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any further videos that I have for you throughout the week. Last but not least, my pharmacy veterans. Did I miss anything that I should have included in this video? Please comment down below as it can help myself in pharmacy prospects. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martell with Pharmacy Basics. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.